Right now I'm living with all my dad. I had cancer twice. Just not allowing other people to dictate what I think about myself. The uh, greatest challenge I've had in, in, in life to overcome is... I had cancer twice. And that was be the biggest thing that I ever overcame. And with the help of the Lord. First you think, why me? And then you think... Well, it would be better than somebody I loved. <laughs> it's it's just a it's it's just horrible. But it's been twenty some years, so that's a wonderful thing. <laughs> so I would say one of the hardest things that I've overcome is um, just not allowing other people to dictate what I think about myself or what I do or how I act. Um, that was definitely something growing up that I thought I had to fit like a mold of a certain way and um, just yeah growing up and realizing like hey I don't have to do that I don't have to uh, be what other people um, say right now I'm living with all my dad lost my dad on Easter that was my best friend we did everything together during this pandemic, uh, we hung out like every other day. We just we went to the store just to get out the house together. We went to lunch like every other day, you know what I'm saying? And just to lose him just like that blew my mind away, you know what I'm saying? I, miss, I still miss my best friend, though. Know? I just, I miss him so much, you know what I'm saying? We had so much to do. We was going to see the Raiders. I, he never seen the Raiders in LA or right now in Vegas. But this year, we was going to see the Raiders. For him, I just to lose him like that, like a couple months ago, it's just I'm you know, missing the death. Biggest challenge is the dealing with a broken back and perseverance. That's about the only way to overcome it. You know, you fall off ladders, it doesn't do your back any good. And uh, fall from the top of a ladder down to the nosing on a stairwell. And, that was in 1967, so we're still dealing with it. I would have to say career setback. About five years ago, I um, resigned from a long-term position I was at, and you know, I just wanted to explore and just find something different, you know, where my skills and values would be appreciated. So I um, took a leap of faith, and you know, I started my own business, and. Um, did that for about four years and you know due to COVID I had to pivot so here I am trying to reinvent myself you know again just that concept of pushing forward and knowing your worth and just knowing that there's always something greater ahead. I don't even know how to answer that uh, in my situation sometimes the obstacle could be your attitude towards life you know how, how you handle things and how you resolve your problems uh, that's probably the biggest obstacle for me. Greatest challenge I've had in, in, in life to overcome is still in the process and it's a never ending process. And that's basically overcoming myself for what is harmful to it. So that's a never ending process that increases and decreases. I would like to get uh, better at it and overcome myself for what is better for it and uh, avoid what is harmful for it. Biggest challenge I had to overcome was growing up in a Caribbean home. The reason why I say that is because my mother's Caribbean and growing up it was always hard because there were things that we wanted to do that because she was Caribbean, she was afraid that we shouldn't do. I had to have that one-on-one -on -one moment where I was like, listen, I understand what you went through, but I'm American and I should be able to do and go as I please. This is the land of free. And it was that moment where she actually realized, you know what, you don't have to live under what I lived. You can't live your life. I was the first one to leave the house. I was the first one to get a, a, go to college. I was the first one to get a government job. Being in the Caribbean culture, shame and guilt and, and keep your nose clean and head down is, is the norm. And for me, I felt like it shouldn't be the norm. I shouldn't be the icebreaker. I did it. When angels meant to fly